Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We are going to take a look at Scorpio. Hey Scorpio, hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over the cards you see here. And we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you, okay? I'm moving some stuff. Hang on guys. I don't know why I'm moving stuff when I'm going to need it. But I may not. We'll see. Alright guys, Scorpio... What's going on here with you? I see four swords energy. Now, the four swords is reverse. The four swords typically tells us that you're trying to take some kind of rest or retreat from something. Something where you need space, where you need solitude to kind of gather your thoughts. I think, Scorpio, this is reverse. So you might have some challenges with letting go of some things that may have happened in the past with specific people. All right? I feel like this is uh, towards a, a specific person. So I feel like there might be somebody you're holding a grudge against. All right, I feel like there's some kind of conflict and you need to focus on making some kind of a resolution with this person. Scorpio, I don't believe you speak to this person. These cards say this is most likely a person you do not communicate with. So I kind of feel like there's an element of forgiveness happening on your end, whether you speak to this person or not. I feel like you're letting things go. I feel like you are going to release things. I think there's a delay for some of you, but I think there's a lot of you who are now coming to the conclusion that... This might be the only way for me to move forward is to forgive. And I feel like that's the energy that I have here. So that's why you see it reversed because there you have not realized it yet or you're starting to come very close to the conclusion that this might be the only way to gather some kind of peace about something. All right. The next energy I have for you guys is the seven of wands. This talks about you could be angry about something. All right. You could be overly protective about something it is you believe, Scorpio. You might have certain beliefs. You might be very willful. You might be adamant in what it is you know that you know. You have certain beliefs. And the thing is, you have to be able to, to defend your beliefs. Uh, some of you guys are getting very defensive when people bring up certain things, right? So certain beliefs that you have, certain reasons why you do things, certain reasons why you don't. People might question them. And you're like, I don't have to give you an answer. But then you're like, I could give you an answer. But is it really worth the battle for you to stand up and say what it is you have to say, Scorpio? Is it really worth the battle all right. Now, for some of you guys, this card could actually mean that there's a partner here. All right. Where there needs to be a conversation had about something. I see that this is a seven. When I look at sevens, I see reflection, assessment, and control. I think Scorpio might have some concerns with somebody here in this connection. All right. This is wands. So this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy where some sort of action needs to be taken. All right. If the action is not taken, I see some kind of departure. All right. So I feel like you guys have to have a conversation with somebody who could be uh, kind of doing things that are annoying you or frustrating you. It's time for you to express yourself, Scorpio, and say what it is you have to say. All right. Now, Scorpio, because you're in the midst of uh, really questioning and choosing your battles, you're like, is this one really worth me addressing? All right. The one out of 50. Is this the one of the ones that I need to actually address? I'm going to say the answer is yes, because these cards talk about some unpleasant conversation or an unpleasant argument that needs to be had about something, all right? So conversations where they validate your emotions. This is how I feel after you do that. And I know you might feel this way after I do this. So these might be conversations that absolutely, these are conversations that need to be had. And I think you need to address things head on. Now, I see the King of Pentacles here for you, Scorpio. Now, somebody near you, or somebody that you're connected to, and I'm going to go back and tell you these signs. And this particular energy, this could be, oh, well, it's an earth sign. So it's Capricorn, Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus, or Voto. So you could be dealing with somebody in this energy who focuses too much on the way things look. They're focused too much on outside appearances. And I think that's not really, I think that's part of what this conversation is, what you're going to, uh, is what it's going to be about. Something where there's too much of a focus on the outside of what things look like. Okay, versus putting the emotions in and really caring what the situation is here. And I think, uh, Scorpio, you're very caring, so I don't know that this is your energy. It could be. You could have a delay in bringing things back together for you emotionally, right? So this talks about you trying to maybe either be annoyed with somebody who's trying to be too focused on material, because I don't know that's where you are right now, Scorpio, or this could be you trying to get right back to material after a hard time. I don't know what that means for you, all right? So... I'm just taking water, guys. For so overall, we know with this that Scorpio, you're holding on to grudges that need to be addressed. And I also feel like here, you're going to end up having a conversation with somebody 
and I don't know how pretty it's going to be. And I think you're going to tell them how you feel about them being focused on things that just to you don't matter. But it might matter to them. So I think this is about communication to Scorpio and having that conversation. Let me just go back. The signs I have here is air. The air sign comes up for the four swords. This is Libra, Aquarius. This is Gemini. Nope. Yes, that's Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, also, we have wands here. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have pinnacles. This is Earth. Um, this is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. All right. So I got that out the way. Let's see what else is going on here. I was going to pull. Let me just see something. What's Scorpio's energy? What does Scorpio need to focus on with the four swords? Give me one energy so I can figure out what's going on with this story, please. Shame. Mm. Mm. All right. What I'm seeing in these cards, guys, I have the shame card. It's reversed. When I look at that, under reverse, I see that you need to take some time and get rid of grudges about something. Scorpio, I feel like there's something you need to get off your chest. And I don't know how many people this involves. I feel like there's a few situations. To me, this looks like um, loose ends that are not tied up. Um, there's something that you need to come to grips with. It looks like in the area of shame. When I look at this card, it tells me that you are having the trouble manifesting a new beginning. Because this is a 19. You're having trouble manifesting a new beginning. All right. You're looking at some kind of opportunity in the situation. And are you looking to see, is there potential in the situation? Uh, this card came out reversed. I would say in this situation, it's like the end of a cycle. I don't know if somebody, I'm not sure what happened here, but there might be something that you are reluctant or ashamed to admit or whatever this has to do with. Or you could be ashamed of somebody's behavior, betrayal. I feel like with this... Um, this uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like there could have been some kind of betrayal here. And I feel like that's what the shame is about. Or this could just be one person. Give me one more so I understand the Knight of Pentacles, please. I'm sorry, that's the King of Pentacles. Please help me understand the King of Pentacles. Help me understand the King of Pentacles. Give me clarity, please. Cosmic power. Okay. Pushing freely, cosmic power, creativity. All right. All right. I feel like, Scorpio, there might have been a lot of things that you have to put to rest. Right? I feel like with the four of swords, it might be something having to do with an element of shame of having to admit something. Or uh, you feel like somebody should be shamed of something that they've done. I feel like something here, there's some betrayal. Or you don't know if there's betrayal. Or you feel like somebody should be ashamed. I think you might suspect there's betrayal somewhere. Um, I also feel like with cosmic power, well, that's what it is. It's cosmic. How can I even explain that? It's like when the universe grants you some kind of power in a relationship or in any kind of setting. But this is a two. This talks about a partnership, balanced and it also talks about duality. Give me more on this one so I can understand creativity. You know what? This one came out. I'm going to let it fall under here. All right. Again, Scorpio's looking for new beginnings, opportunity, and potential in something. Creativity. I feel like whatever this cosmic power is after some sort of shame or betrayal or something that happened with somebody or situations, I think you put it to use create creatively. I feel like you're going to start to express yourself because you express in groups at this point. So I don't know if you're sharing information with people, Scorpio. I don't know if you're talking to a group of friends. I don't know if you're an enlightening people somehow. Secrets revealed. Mm, look at that. Betrayal came out reverse. Let me put this down. Betrayal came out reverse and right underneath the secrets revealed. So something is going to come out. Give me one more. Help me understand. I'm going backwards now. Tell me about shame. Mm, let me shuffle for Oh. Oh. Y'all, truth. Oh my goodness, you listen. Okay, shame, truth. Now, the truth card talks about some kind of expression, getting something out, something that you want to manifest. It talks about uh, the truth coming out, reflection, assessment, control. Scorpio, I feel like you've been taking some time and thinking about things. And I feel like the truth is coming out of a situation, but I feel like the truth has always been there for you. I also feel like somebody may have betrayed you. This could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
Um, and you might suspect you were betrayed, but at the end of the day, the secrets are going to be revealed. It's right here. When we talk about cosmic power, it enhances our creativity. So that's what that could be about. Hold on, but let me just, uh, I'm going to go back and shuffle these again. All right, now, when we have the, okay, I think I understand this now. When I have the King of Pentacles falling, right, and then right underneath it, I have cosmic power. Right underneath that is creativity. There's a possibility that some of you guys, you Scorpios, right, some of us, I'm a Scorpio too, could actually become greedy in something. You're so worried about results. You're worried about the results of something. It could be anything that you're doing. Um, you could be focused on material, getting right back. I feel, I'm not sure what this is for you, Scorpio, but I feel like whatever you're doing, your creativity is enhanced. But I also feel like you need to not be greedy and stay focused on, um, stay focused on what is, what is not going to bring you over some top or something like that with greed or being overly anxious about something. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Let me see what else we have for Scorpio. Tell me what happened with Scorpio, please. Tell me what happened with Scorpio. This board looks crazy. But I just want y'all to see them. All right, hold on. I'll make it small so y'all can... All right, see? Ah, look at that. Surprise. Surprise my foot. <laughs> All right. All right, give me one more story for Scorpio. Let me understand what's going on with Scorpio. I just want you guys to be able to see the whole board. Okay, Scorpio. What does Scorpio want to tell us or what does Scorpio need to know? Cross watchers, Scorpio's thoughts. Scorpio, whoever's watching this reading, whatever this means to you, tell me what's going on for Scorpio. Scorpio's having some kind of rebirth. It's an end of a cycle for them. Um, and it's a completion of things that no longer serve them. Things that they need to let go of, things that they have to ask for forgiveness for and be forgiven for and forgive for. And I see something with renewal here. Now that could be something, it could just be just a rebirth of peacefulness. It could be a rebirth of a relationship with an air sign. It looks like there's going to be some kind of change for Scorpio. Tell me more. Tell me more about Scorpio and change. Hang on, guys. I knew that was going to happen. All right. All right. Tell me more about Scorpio and change. A rebirth, a change, a compare. Why does comparison keep coming out for Scorpio? Conflict, change, and instability. Conflict, change, and instability. Scorpio, I feel like you might be surveying something and comparing. I don't know if you are comparing something happened. It's something that you are comparing. You're comparing some old past to something new. I feel like you might be trying to make a decision about something. I do, because you keep comparing. This has come up. And sometimes before these are taped, like the last one cut off, and I was like, you know what, I'm not doing a part two. So I decided to scrap it and just go on and do a full one. All right. Ooh. Whatever that was, did not. Transformation. Mm, comparison, transformation. Okay. All right. I feel like there's going to be some rebirth. I feel like knowing who Scorpio is, Scorpio is going to do some kind of like survey. And I'm like, all right, here's my rebirth. Here's how it changed. I'm going to compare it to how I was before or uh, before this transformation. So there's some kind of who I, who am I, uh, receptivity. Uh huh. I think Scorpio's looking for somebody who, uh, in this position here, Aries Leo Sag is looking for somebody who is receptive to what it is. Uh, I, anything. It could be just in a relationship in general. Some kind of receptivity. Somebody's looking for harmony and they're looking for some kind of renewal. I think with the Aries Leo Sagittarius, that's what it looks like. Some kind of. I'm looking for you to have balance in this relationship and give me what I give you. But I'm also looking for harmony. Mm, miser card. Manifestation stability. I feel like there might be somebody who might have some kind of um, reckless spender or something. Because I'm thinking that's the only thing that would probably trigger Scorpio to become a miser. Like if you're with somebody who is spending a little bit too much, you know that you can't spend as much. Because then we're irresponsible. So I think there's a little bit of worry there with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Something having to do with money. Um, this next energy here could be Earth. Well, it could be any of them. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hold on, let me see what we have. What's going on with this? Morality. Mm, Scorpio. Are you questioning somebody's morals? Mm. Somebody that you don't feel is right. Questioning the stuff that they do underhandedly. Mm. That, okay, I'm glad y'all didn't see that. That was terrible. Scorpio, are you judging people here or are people judging you here with morality? 
if I had to guess, I don't know. I'm thinking Scorpio might. Scorpio might be thinking somebody who's an Earth sign. This person might be intense, and I think Scorpio does love being intense, but I don't think Scorpio wants to be intense with this person. I think Scorpio finds it a downer in a sense. Um, traveling. Tell me more about traveling, please. This is the eight. This is mastery accomplished. Taking some kind of action. Mm. Are, you, are you going towards it or are you going away? Playfulness. Looks like Scorpio's headed towards it. Alone. Oh, not, not. Aloneness. Scorpio, I feel like ultimately maybe you made some kind of decision having to do with an earth side, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. All right, because I see aloneness here ends up again. Aloneness. I see there's a rebirth. Let me see. What else do I need to know about four swords please give me some information on four swords of course scorpio's perspective on the four swords and water sorry about that guys i gotta have water all right tell me more about rebirth for scorpio stress all right scorpio was stressing out about something reflection assessment control that they were trying to gain some kind of uh a, a, some some information yep, understanding what they were gaining there was something that scorpio was stressed out about and they didn't understand it notice this is shame the truth comes out this is a situation where scorpio had to have a rebirth and she's like or he's like all right i'm stressed out about this situation i also see here i'm not understanding this situation i think i thought i understood stuff uh, this one's looking a little shaky to me like i don't understand this this talks about the rebel. Mm -hmm. One more. See, the person you were dealing with here, you feel to be a level, a rebel, and that could be air energy. Existence. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. New beginnings. I'm questioning whether or not healing. Okay. Completion. The fool. Turn in. The creator. Projections ordinariness mm, okay there's somebody here i don't know scorpio i'm not sure if you are contemplating uh getting back together with an air sign uh i think that uh, or they're get, contemplating getting back together with you i'm not sure what's going on here but i see that it would be it says a life of ordinariness now i don't know if that's good enough for you or the other person i'm not sure but i do see a new a new vision is reversed so scorpio i don't know that scorpio is uh, uh too on top of that so, I'm going to leave it there. That's all I have for you guys. I love you. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We'll pick up probably later on. See what else is going on. All right. Love you guys. Bye.